Let's get straight to it. Patrick Beverly is talking trash about the Philadelphia 76ers, man. And Tobias Harris called him and, and asked him, what's the biggest difference between Philadelphia and Milwaukee? And this is what Pat Bev said. I'm like, everybody in Milwaukee wants to win. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to win. That's three times what you're trying to say that Philadelphia 76ers don't want to win. But let's get back to what he was saying. He said, everybody, he said, it's not about stats. It's not about numbers here. It's not about who gets the ball. Everybody here wants to win. I, it, it seems like you coming at Joel Embiid. Am I mistaken? Y'all leave in the comments below. Is he coming at Joel Embiid? But my whole thing is, bro, I was a big supporter of you, bro. I didn't want you to get traded. But you don't come at your ex-teammates, bro. You don't come at your ex-teammates, man. And that's why the Bucks. I'm telling you, good luck with Doc Rivers, man. Good luck with Doc Rivers when it counts the most. And we're going to see if you got that same energy when you come back to Philly. When Joel Embiid is healthy and we play y'all in the playoffs, if y'all get to the playoffs, and if we get to the playoffs, we're going to see what happens. But at the end of the day, you don't have to come at your ex-teammates because you feel sorry that you got traded. A lot of the Philadelphia 76er fan base really loved Patrick Beverly, really loved you, bro. They, we was like, man, that, that's the type of player we always wanted on this team. I'm going to be honest with you. I really liked you. I was like, man, why are we going to trade Patrick Beverly for Cameron Payne? This is before I knew about Cameron Payne, didn't do no real research on him because he really didn't get that much minutes with the, uh, with the Bucks. But, man, I, I was disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was very disappointed. But at the same time, Daryl's job is to tr try to improve this team by any means. And he fell as though Cameron Payne in a, another uh, future second round pick was better than just having you. And that's his opinion. Some people would disagree. But and I might disagree overall. But at the same time, I don't feel like it's right for you to just come at your ex-teammates, bro. I don't feel like it's right to try to make it seem like they're not trying to win. That they're not trying to win a championship and it's just messed up man it's like like <laughs> for example like say you in a relationship right and you break up with your shorty you break up with your girl right and your girlfriend going around to the, her next boyfriend that's what she probably gonna do anyway she's gonna go to her next boyfriend and talk trash on you but not telling the full story you know what i mean and i'm not saying you was bad in the locker room i highly doubt that i think you was per i think you was really good in the locker room but bro it's just part of the business man it's just part of the game when you're in the nba when you least suspect it you might get traded if you're not a superstar player unfortunately they're going to trade you to try to improve the team and i understand you did try to take it back and say that's not what you really meant but bro this is what you meant bro i, I feel like it is, it's, it's, come on, come on, bro. But that's all I got to say about this, man. I'm not going to really talk too much about this. It's, it's unfortunate that he got to talk like this about the, your ex teammates and try to make it as if they're not trying to win a championship as well as the Bucks, man. We're definitely trying to win a championship. We haven't won since, ugh, I don't even want to repeat the year. It's been 40 plus years, man. I'm pretty sure we're trying to win. And I'm pretty sure you witnessed. Nah, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. But make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's definitely, definitely going down. I do play-by-play -play for most of the Philadelphia 76er games this season. I'm out. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out. My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Yeah. My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Uh -huh. I'ma talk that talk about, about the, the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma I'm talk that talk about, about the, the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go. I really do this. I'm a hybrid fan. Uh -huh. I'm a stand up man. Yeah. They be hating on the squads, but, but they, they really, really a fan. fan. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go.